Job chapter 1. Um, when I was asked to speak a couple of days ago in my office, I felt the Lord had me to speak on my life message. This is my life message. I live my life by this message. And I hope it to be a blessing to you. We are going to look at a lot of the Bible today, but that ought to be the way it is when we come to church, that the Bible should be the one doing most of the speaking. Let's go ahead and start off in verse 1. You just want to go ahead and read it, brother? The title of our message tonight is a lesson from Job. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for a chance to come behind the sacred desk. Lord, thank you so much for the opportunity to preach. Thank you for Pastor Cohn and so many of the faithful men and women here in our Spanish ministry. Thank you so much for their faithfulness day in and day out. Lord, loving you and loving your people. I pray that you would bless them for that. I pray you help this message be profitable. I pray everything I say to be a blessing, Lord, and that you get all the honor and glory. We love you now. I pray this in Christ's name. Amen. Uh, the first thing I want us to notice here is we're going to look at six things about Job here. And the first um, important lesson we want to see is the resume of Job. Lo primero que queremos ver aquí en, en el libro de Job es su, uh, lo, lo que él hizo. We see, resumen de Job. Sorry. We see here that Job is a perfect man. That means he's complete. And that he is someone, if, you, if I may say it, who, who's doing okay. He's doing okay spiritually and financially. Que él es un hombre uh, perfecto, un hombre completo, y está haciendo muy bien con sus uh, cosas personales y con su dinero. If I can say it, Job is you today. Pero Job is someone. Oh, que eres tú. Job is someone who would be at church on a Sunday night. Job is someone who is here on a Sunday morning. Job is someone whose family was brought up in the uh, admiration and the knowledge of God. Job sería usted que viene aquí en las mañanas, en las tardes, durante la semana, usted y su familia. Un hombre que fue criado en las cosas de Dios. And it's because of that we find here in verse 6. Could you go ahead and read that for me, brother? Vamos a leer el versículo 6 y dice la palabra de Dios. Un día vinieron a presentarse delante de Jehová los hijos de Dios, en los cuales vino también Satanás. So you can keep going to verse 8, actually. Y dijo Jehová, Satanás, ¿de dónde vienes? Respondió Satanás a Jehová, dijo, rodear la tierra y de andar por ella. Y Jehová dijo a Satanás, no has considerado a mi siervo Job, que no hay otro como él en la tierra, varón perfecto y recto y temeroso de Dios y apartado del mal. Whenever Satan, whenever Satan sees a life that God is blessing, that God is working, he wants to destroy that life. Siempre que Satanás ve una vida que Dios está usando, la quiere destruir. Job had a target on his back, not because he was rich, but because he was a man that feared God and eschewed evil. Uh, Job tenía un blanco en su espalda, no porque era rico, sino porque temía a Dios. And you today that are in this church tonight, you have a target on your back. Y usted que está aquí esta noche, usted tiene el blanco puesto en su espalda también. Satan would like nothing less than to destroy you, your family, this ministry, your pastor. He would love the opportunity to destroy every one of us in here. Satanás quisiera destruirte a ti, a este ministerio, a tu pastor, lo quisiera destruir el día de hoy. But we see here that God brought Job up. Uh, pero podemos ver que Dios uh, hizo crecer a Job. Let me ask you a question tonight. If Satan were to come into the presence of God tonight, would God bring your name up as a man or a woman that feared God and eschewed evil? Si Satanás se presentara delante de Dios el día de hoy y tu nombre se aparecía ahí, if Satan were to bring your name up to God, si Satanás le dijera el tu nombre a, a, a Jehová el día de hoy, could God look at Satan and say, no, he's doing okay tonight? A Jehová le podría decir a Satanás, no, él está bien hoy. If you look at verse 9, el verso número 9, go ahead. respondió Satanás a, a Jehová y, di, y dijo, ¿Acaso teme Job a Dios de embalde? No le ha acercado alrededor de él y su casa y todo lo que tiene. Alrededor al trabajo de sus manos has dado bendición. Por tanto, sus bienes han aumentado sobre la tierra. En verse 11, please. 
pero extiende ahora su mano y toca todo lo que tiene y verás si no blasfema contra ti en tu misma presencia. Now this is a very important part of the story about to happen. Esta es una parte muy importante de la historia. Realize Job knows nothing of what's going on right now. Acuérdese que Job no sabe de nada de lo que está pasando ahorita. Sometimes if we're not careful, we can read the Bible. A veces podemos leer la Biblia y no, si no tenemos cuidado. And because we know the end of the story. Y como sabemos lo último de la historia. We lose the effectiveness of the middle of the story. Perdemos la, la parte efectiva de la historia. All Job knows is he's doing the same thing he's done for years. He's honoring God, he's loving God, and he's just chewing evil. Lo único que sabe Job que él está dándole la honra y gloria a Dios. And then life's about to get crazy for him. Y ahora su vida se va a poner loca. For sake of time, Por el tiempo, let me just go ahead and, and we'll look at real quickly some of the things that happened to Job. A normal a day in Job's life. Unas cosas que le pasaron a Job en esos días. If you would read verse 13 and 14, please. Vamos a leer el 13 y el 14. Un día aconteció que sus hijos e hijas comían y bebían vino en su casa de sus hermanos, el primogénito, y vino un mensajero de Job y le dijo, estaban arrando los bueyes y las, y las asnas paseando cerca de ellos. Verse 15, so. Y acontecieron que los sauceos y los tomaron y los mataron y a los criados a filo de espada solamente escapé yo para darte la noticia. So now we're going to look at Job's runners. The first thing we see is Job's, Job's resume. He is a man that feared God. He is chewed evil. Ahorita estamos viendo lo que era Job que temía a Dios, pero ahora vamos a ver a sus corredores. As many of the lies represented here, he was someone that wanted the best for him and his family, not only physically, but spiritually. Él era un hombre que quería lo mejor para su familia, no nomás física, sino también espiritualmente. And because of that, Satan now is going to try to destroy his life. Y por eso, uh, ahora va a su vida. And a quick side note, whenever Satan goes after your life, he shows no mercy. God allows these things. God gives Satan the freedom here for a second. And Satan shows no mercy. He goes right for the jugular. First, we see he goes after his finances with his animals, with his oxen. Put yourselves in Job's shoes for a second. You get a phone call from your work. You've just been laid off. That income you had that takes care of your family is no longer going to be there. And then if that's not bad enough, look at verse 16. Okay. Think of Joe. I'm going to go long here. I'm going to go long. You got to, okay. Think of Job here for a second. Here he is. He's standing there. His servant comes and picture the, the mindset here. The servant's coming. He, he's probably uh, full of anguish. He's just seen his friends, his fellow servants slain. And, and the oxen that he was in charge of had been taken. And while Job is talking to him, he sees out in the distance another servant running towards him. ¿Te imaginas este Job está parado allí todavía? pensando en lo que había pasado antes cuando él ve a otro hombre corriendo hacia él. And this time it wasn't a, a band of thieves, it was from heaven. Ahora no era como los hombres malos que vinieron y mataron a todos, sino que es fuego que cayó del cielo. And then if you could read verse 17. Y, y verso número 17, todavía estaban hablando y vino otro y le, y le dijo, los caldeos hicieron tres escuadrones y arremetieron contra los camellos y se los llevaron y mataron a los criados a filo de espada y solamente escapé yo para darte la noticia. Notice those first five words while he was yet speaking. Fíjate las cinco primeras palabras todavía estaba hablando. Here Job is, he's talking to one servant. The next one comes with bad news. He lock, looks off into a distance and here comes the third servant with more bad news. Él está hablando con uno de sus sirvientes y luego otro y luego a la distancia mira otro que viene con, con noticias malas. 
And in my own mind, I teach kids, so I, I try to imagine a lot. En mi propia mente yo enseño a los a los niños, so yo trato de de, de criar o imaginarme cosas. Remember, Job had, knows nothing about the conversation between Satan and God. All he knows is he lived his day, same day he woke up that morning, he worshiped God. And then now before him stands three servants with all terrible news. Ahora imagínate esto, eh, Job no sabía lo que estaba pasando y todavía así en la mañana despertó y estaba adorando a Dios y, y no se imaginó que iba a tener tres hombres parados enfrente de él con malas noticias. Sal's doing a good job. Good job, Sal. <laughs> In my mind, I imagine this. Job here is talking to this servant, and this servant's here, and this servant. And then I imagine he knows that his daughter and his sons are meeting at, for a special dinner at the house. He knows this. Job está parado allí hablando con los sirvientes, sabiendo que sus hijos y sus hijas están comiendo en la casa de su hermano. And I imagine he looks out and he sees a servant running towards him from that house. Ahora imagínate, él ve a su sirviente corriendo de aquella casa. And I imagine these three men talking, he, he, he kind of zones out. And all he sees is that servant running from that house with anguish on his face. Ahora yo me imagino a Job allí hablando con estos tres hombres, pero cuando ve a aquel hombre, los demás no importan más que él. And, and here we see how Satan feels about those who love God. Ahora sí es como se siente Satanás acerca de los que aman a Jehová. And if you would read verse 17. Oh, sorry, leer, sorry uh, 18. Vamos a leer el número 18. Entre tanto que estaba hablando... Vino el otro y dijo, tus hijos y tus hijas estaban comiendo y bebiendo vino en casa de su hermano, el primogénito. And in verse 19. Número 19, un, un gran viento vino de los lados del desierto y azotó los cuatro esquinas de la casa, la cual cayó sobre los jóvenes y murieron solamente. Escapé yo para darte la noticia. Could you imagine that? ¿Te podría, go, go ahead. Te pudieras imaginar eso. In an instant, in a matter of moments, one servant after the next one, and at first it's his finances, and then it's part of his reputations taken by some of the things he had lost, but then to look out, and he sees that servant, and he, I imagine in my mind, sorry, so I'm going to go along here again. I imagine in my mind, they're talking, and he sees that servant running, and he starts running towards that servant, and these guys are still talking, but he wants to know what's going on. He can see the anguish on the servant's face. And I imagine he grabs the servant, and the servant's exhausted and out of breath. And he's like, what's going on? What's going on? And this, you're not going to believe what happened, Job. Tell me what happened. What, what, why are you here? Oh, Job, you're not going to believe what happened. The house is, it has collapsed, and, and your family is gone. Imagínense allí, Job, hablando con estos dos hombres, tres hombres. Y, y él, él se, se volteó su cara y vio al otro hombre que venía corriendo. Te imaginas... Él vine, sabiendo que ese hombre venía de la casa de sus hijos, al agarrar al, al sirviente, le preguntó, ¿qué está pasando? ¿Qué está pasando? Think of the story as if you did not know the ending. Imagínate que no supieras el final de esta historia. All Job knows is he woke up that morning and worshiped God the same way he did every day. Él nomás lo único que sabía era despertarse en la mañana y darle gloria a Dios. In the matter of moments, he's lost everything. En un momento perdió todo. He didn't deserve this. Él no se lo he didn't curse God. Él no a Dios. He, he didn't steal from the church. No robó de la he didn't kill his neighbor. He didn't do any of those things. All he did was woke up that morning and serve God the same way he always had. And here in these few moments, Satan shows his true colors. En un ratito, Satanás nos demuestra sus, sus, sus verdaderos colores. How would this look, what would this look like in your life? ¿Cómo se miraría esto en tu vida? Uh, imagine your home one afternoon. Imagínate tu casa una tarde. And you get a phone call. Y te dan una llamada. First, it's your work. Primero es tu trabajo. You just lost your job. Acabas de perder tu trabajo. While you're on the phone with your boss, Todavía estás hablando con tu patrón. you notice a, a weird doctor's office calling you. Y luego te hablan del doctor. You answer that phone number. Y, y, y contestas esa, esa llamada. They tell you they did your blood work. You have cancer. And while you're on that phone call, Todavía estás en esa llamada. you see another phone call and you go to answer and, and your mom calls you and says, Dad just passed away. 
y, y otra llamada te entra mientras estás con el doctor y, y te dice, y es tu mamá y te dice, tu papá se acaba de morir. What would your reaction be? ¿Qué sería tu reacción? How many of us would, would be tempted to cry out and say, God, why? How could you? ¿Cuántos de nosotros gritaríamos, Dios, cómo pudiste hacer eso? All I've done has been faithful to you. I read your Bible. I come faithfully to this church. I help my pastor. I love my family. I love your word. I love your people. Why, God, why? ¿Cuántos diríamos, por qué, Dios, si yo leo tu palabra, vengo a la iglesia, amo a la gente, la iglesia, hago todo lo que me pides, por qué, Dios? And in our mind, we'd almost rationalize, people would rationalize with you. People would understand, say, oh, I understand why you're mad at God. And if anybody had a reason to be mad at God, it would be Job. Job was a better man than any of us in here today. But yet he loses it all in a matter of moments. Pero lo perdió todo en un momento de segundos. And I would like you to look at Job's reasoning. Quería, quiero enseñarles la, el, el, If you would read 20 through 22, sir. 21. 22, you read 22. 20 to 22. 20 to 22. Vamos yes, a leer del 20 al 22. Dice, entonces Job se levantó y rasgó su manto y rasuró su cabeza y se postró en tierra y adoró. Y dijo, desnudo salí del vientre de mi madre y desnudo volveré a ella. Jehová dio y Jehová quitó, sea el nombre de Jehová bendito. En todo esto no pecó Job ni atribuyó a Dios despropósito alguno. Don't miss what just happened there. No te pierdas de lo que acaba de pasar ahorita. Here in that moment of anguish, that moment of disappointment, that moment of sadness, he remembers who he is. En ese momento de, de angustia, de, de, de tristeza, él no se olvidó quién era. Remember, he knows nothing of the conversation between the Lord and Satan. Acuérdate que, que él no sabe ningún, ninguna de la conversación que está teniendo Dios y Satanás. But yet, I imagine in my mind, Satan standing over him, waiting for him to curse God. Yo me imagino que Satanás está esperando allí que uh, Job maldiga el nombre de Dios. And anger and frustration running away as he starts glorifying God. Y, y Satanás con coraje y, 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 y enojado corre fuera. Ver But, que Job no maldice el nombre de Jehová. Would that be you tonight? Serías tú ese hoy? It's easy for us to stand and say, oh, yeah, I could do that. If you were to ask your pastor, I'm sure he's heard many people say that to him over the years. But yet he would tell you those same people are not here anymore. It's so easy for us to talk a big talk. Es muy fácil hablar nomás. But it's so much harder to walk a big walk. Pero es mucho más difícil caminar la vida cristiana. Here Job has lost his fortune. He has, oh, he has lost his family. And a little later on, you guys know chapter 2, he's going to lose his fitness and eventually he's going to lose his friends. Aquí estamos viendo que él perdió su fortuna, su familia. En capítulo 2 podemos ver que perdió su, su, uh, sus amigos, pero también su salud. But yet the Bible says he sinned not nor charged God foolishly. Pero dice allí que él no pecó contra Dios. Not even a moment of anger. Not, not a moment of frustration. Not, a, not even a quick shout out and it's God, I'm sorry later. Ningún momento de coraje ni de frustración que haya gritado algo a Dios. How does this happen? ¿Cómo esto puede pasar? Job realized his position before God. El Job se dio cuenta de su posición en frente de Dios. The fortune that he has was not Job's. La fortuna que tenía no era de Job. That family Job had was not Job. La familia que Job tenía no era de Job. The health that he had was not Job. La salud que Job tenía no era de Job. Those were God's. Era de Dios. And Job could stand here in the midst of the worst day of his life and he could say, blessed be the name of the Lord. 
Job puede pararse en medio de este día tan difícil de decir, bendito sea el nombre de Jehová. And many of us will face things way less than Job. Y muchos de nosotros nos encontraremos con cosas mucho menos que Job. But how often are we quick to blame God? Y cuán fácil somos para echarle la culpa a Dios. We drive and we hit traffic in L.A. Vamos y manejamos y agarramos tráfico en Los Ángeles. Why, Lord? Why must I suffer for you? ¿Por qué tendré que sufrir yo por ti? And God says, oh, man. Y dice Dios, no lo creo. If you could only see the faith of Job. Si solamente pudieras ver la fe de, de Job. And, and that ought to be a challenge to every single one of us. Eso debería de ser un reto para cada uno de nosotros. To realize that the family and the life I have is not mine. Darnos cuenta que la familia y la vida que tengo no son mías. Every day, everyone I meet is a gift from God. Cada vez, cada día que, que conozco a alguien más es un regalo de parte de if, Dios. If you're a parent in here, si eres un padre tú aquí, that, would, that should challenge you to raise your family. Eso te debería de retar para hacer que tu familia creciera. The way God would want you to raise them. Igual como Dios quisiera que la hiciera, que creciera. If, if you're a, uh, if you have free time in here today. Si tú tienes tiempos libres. That should challenge you to use your free time to do what God would have you to do. Es un reto para que uses el tiempo libre para las cosas de Dios. Job realized the most important principle we can realize out of this story. Job entendió el punto más importante de esta historia. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. El Señor te da y el Señor te lo puede quitar. Nothing happens without his control. Nada pasa sin el control de Dios. Whether it be the traffic you hit on the freeway. Puede ser el tráfico que te, que te agarre en el freeway. Or the phone call you get about cancer. O el, la llamada que te puede dar el doctor que tienes cáncer. God is in absolute control. Dios tiene el control completo. And when we start getting too focused on ourselves, nos en mismos, and we get too focused on the things around us, the material things around nos us, en las cosas que nos rodean, we sometimes forget about that. Nos de cosas así. Not only do we see Job's resume, we see Job's runner, we see Job's reasoning. Lastly, I want, or not next, I want you to see Job's resolve. No nomás vemos la vida de Job, pero ahora vemos, vamos a ver los resultados de Job. It says, in, in this, Job sinned not, nor charged God foolishly. En esto no pecó Job, ni atribuyó a Dios propósito alguno. I couldn't do that. Yo no podría hacer eso. I mean, not even for a moment does it say. It doesn't say he sinned a little bit or he got upset for a second. But in all of this, Job sinned not. Dice, no dice que él se aguitó ni siquiera poquito. Dice que él no pecó. And by the way, Satan's not done yet. Dice que Satanás todavía no ha acabado. Look at verse, uh, chapter 2, verse 1. Uh, capítulo 2, versículo 1, aconteció que el otro día vinieron los hijos de Dios para presentarse delante de Jehová y Satanás vino también entre ellos presentándose delante de Jehová. Realize that there's no time limit given here. Aquí no hay un tiempo, un límite de tiempo. We don't know if Job suffered without losing all of his friends and family for days. No sabemos si Job sufrió por días. Weeks, months, we have no idea. Meses, no tenemos ni una idea. And, and, but Satan's not done attacking this man of Job. Todavía Satanás no ha acabado de, 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 de pelear contra Job. And God again brings him up in verse 3. Y Jehová una vez más lo, lo trae para atrás a Job en el versículo 3. Y Jehová dijo a Satanás, no has considerado a mi siervo Job que no hay varón como él en la tierra, varón perfecto y recto y temeroso de Dios, apartado del mal, y todavía retiene su integridad, aun cuando tú me has insistido contra él para que lo arruine sin causa. You notice there where he says, um, when thou movest me against him. He still holdeth fast his integrity. I want you to see, if you have your Bible, turn to Job 42. Job 42. 
So we see Job's resume. He was a perfect man. He was a complete man. He was one that feared God and eschewed evil. Podemos ver como Job, eh, su, él era un hombre recto, perfecto y temeroso de Dios. We saw Job's runners where Satan, when he had his chance, came after him hard. Vimos como los hombres que vinieron a él, eh, vinieron duro contra él. We saw Job's reasoning. He realized that everything he had was a gift from God. We see Job's resolve that he never sinned nor charged God foolishly. And lastly, I want you to see Job's reward. If you would read verses 12 through 17. Y bendijo Jehová el postrer estado dejó más que el principio porque tuvo catorce mil ovejas seis mil camellos mil yuntas de bueyes mil asnas y tuvo siete hijos y tres hijas llamado llamado el nombre de la primera gemami gemima de la segunda decía y el de la tercera Keren Apu número 15 dice y no había mujeres tan hermosas como las hijas de Job en toda la tierra y les dio <laughs> sus padres herencia entre sus hermanos después de esto vivió Job 140 años y, y vio a sus hijos y a, las, a los hijos de sus hijos hasta la cuarta generación y murió Job Viejo, lleno de días. This does not happen if Job curses God. Esto no haya pasado si Job haya maldecido a Dios. This does not happen if he charges God foolishly and sins si in that Dios first part. Ha, si Job haya contribuido contra Jehová, esto no haya pasado. We see God not only rewards him with the animals, which would be finances. Uh, vemos que Jehová no nomás lo bendice con, con ganado y con dinero. He rewards him with a family. Lo, lo bendice con una familia. A beautiful family, as it says Como here. Una, con una hermosa familia, dice aquí. I married a daughter of Job. Very eh, beautiful. Yo me casé con una hija de Job. <laughs> she's not as old as she looks, but she's a daughter no, of Job. No, no está tan, uh, <laughs> oh, no, she's younger than she lo looks. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. I messed that up. Anyway, let's get back to preaching. <clears throat> But look at the last two verses. And after this, Job, 140 years, and saw his sons and his sons' sons, even four generations. So Job died being old and full of days. Dice ahí que en el número 16, desde después de esto, vino Job, vivió Job 140 años y vio a sus hijos y a los hijos de sus hijos hasta la cuarta generación y murió Job viejo y lleno. Now, if you would have jo told Job at the very beginning of the story that at the end everything would have been okay, it would make sense that he would not curse God. But he didn't know this. All he knew was, naked came out of my mother's womb, and naked I shall return thither. The Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I want to live my life that no matter what Satan throws at me, I would be able to say, blessed be the name of the Lord. This story here teaches us so many different things. Esta historia nos enseña muchas diferentes cosas. We realize that we have a target on our backs. Nos damos cuenta que tenemos un blanco en nuestra espalda. Satan's not near as worried about the drug addict on the street right now. Satanás no está preocupado por los drogadictos en la calle. He's not worried about the people following the wrong religions. Él no está preocupado por los que siguen las religiones. He has his target and his mark on you tonight. He has your target on your kids, the next generation of this church. And he wants to get his hands and his grip on them 
and shred them up. He wants to destroy them. Él lo que quiere hacer hacer los pedazos, quiere destruirlos. He will not play nice. Él no va a jugar bien. He will not have mercy. Él no va a tener una misericordia. If you go back real quick to Job 1. Si vas para atrás a Job 1. If you would look at verse 11. Versículo número 11 dice la palabra de Dios. Pero extiende ahora tu mano y toca todo lo que tienes y verás si no blasfema contra ti en tu misma presencia. What would that be in your life? ¿Qué eso sería en tu vida? What could Satan go to God and say, God, you take away his parents and he'll curse you to your face? ¿Qué sería lo que, que, que Satanás le diría a Jehová? ¿Qué tal que le quitaras a su familia, a sus papás? ¿Él maldeciría tu nombre? God, you take away his job and he'll quit church tomorrow. Si tú lo haces que lo corran, él va a cuitear la iglesia mañana. God, you, you had that job offer him a raise to work on Sundays and he'll quit church tomorrow. Si su trabajo le ofrecen un aumento los domingos, él lo haría. Here we have a test of Job's love. Aquí estamos viendo una prueba de, del amor de Job. His love for God. El amor que tuvo para con Dios. And I must ask myself this question. Yo me tendría que preguntar esta pregunta a mí mismo. What do I have in my life ¿Qué hay en mi vida that Satan can go to God que, que Satanás podría ir con Dios and say, God, just let me have this one part of his life. Déjame nomás le haga, toco esta parte de su vida. And he'll curse thee to thy face. Y te maldeciría en tu propia cara. The job, uh, uh, my job as a Christian mi trabajo como un cristiano is to make sure there's nothing between my soul and the Savior. Que no haya nada entre medio de mi alma y mi Salvador. No matter what the world might throw at me, no importa lo que el mundo me tire, no matter what Satan might offer me, lo que Satanás me ofrezca, or take from me, o que me quite, I must have the attitude, blessed be the name of the Lord. Siempre decir, bendito sea el nombre de Jehová. Now, I'm like many of you in here. I hope God never tests me. I couldn't imagine if I were to lose my family. I couldn't imagine if something happened to our daughter. And if something did happen to our, my family or my daughter, could I say, blessed be the name of the Lord? Podría decir yo, bendito sea el nombre de Jehová. As we mentioned, there's a lot of people used to sit where you sit. There have been people that have come to this church. Hay gente que ha venido a esta iglesia. And Satan said, God, let me have this one part and they'll quit church. Y, y Satanás les dice, le dice a Dios, déjame les tomo esta parte y han dejado la iglesia. And they're not here anymore. Y ya no están aquí. Remember, Job knows nothing of this conversation. Acuérdate, Job no sabe nada acerca de esta conversación. He has no idea. We can read the story and we see everything happening. And of course, Job, stay strong for God. But for all he knows, God's the one bringing this upon him. Acuérdate, podremos leer esta historia y, y, y Job no sabe, pero... Sabemos que Job va a salir fuerte. But yet he never ever sinned. He just recharged God foolishly in this moment. Así sabemos que Job nunca pecó. And so we see here that Satan wants to destroy our family. Aquí podemos ver que Satanás quiere destruir nuestras familias. We see here that Satan knows what it takes to destroy our family. Y Satanás sabe que tomaría para destruir nuestras familias. But we also learn that we can have victory over him. Pero que tener sobre él. Jesus Christ has already claimed the victory for us today. Ya nos dio la And the only power Satan has now y el único poder que tiene ahora is what we give him. Es lo que le damos. Job here did not give Satan anything. Could you imagine if this moment Satan would have been able to get a hold of Job? He wouldn't have seen his grandkids to the fourth generation. It would have affected his future. 
There would have been no more kids. There would have been no more grandkids. There would have been no more family. No hubiera nietos ni, ni una familia. Satan would love nothing less Satanás no quisiera nada menos to get his hands into this church. Que poner sus manos en esta iglesia. To get his hands into your pastor. Poner tus manos en tu, sus manos en tu pastor. And, and try to destroy the church and, and try to ruin the future of this church. Tratar de destruir esta iglesia y, y arruinar el futuro de nuestra iglesia. Not because he knows what this church can do to the future. Porque él sabe lo que esta iglesia puede hacer para el futuro. The people that you will reach with your bus route. Con, con la gente que hemos alcanzado con el, con el bus. The people you will reach with your music. The people you will reach with your preaching and your outreach on Sunday morning. Satan knows that the influence you can have is amazing. And we love nothing less than destroy every one of us in here. Él sabe lo que puedes hacer con tu ministerio y él lo que quiere hacer es destruir. Our jobs for every single one of us El trabajo de cada uno de nosotros is to make sure that we don't give Satan an inroads. Que nosotros no le demos lugar al diablo. That means praying for your pastor. Orando por tu pastor. That means praying for those in your, your, ser, in your class, church, in your church. Uh, orando por aquellos de tu iglesia. That means praying for these youth, the future. Predi uh, orando por los jóvenes, la, el futuro. And it means remembering Acordándote. that God allows everything que Dios deja que todo and having pase. the mindset that blessed be the name of the Lord. Y siempre que bendito sea el nombre de Jehová. I want to live my life Yo quiero vivir mi vida. and in my ministry and with my family en mi y con mi familia. That no matter what Satan throws at me. Que no importa lo que Satanás me aviente, I'd be able to stand strong que yo pueda pararme firme and say, blessed be the name of the Lord. Y decir, Bendito sea el nombre de Jehová. I don't want to be another statistic yo no quiero hacer otra estatística of somebody who went to church alguien que fue a la iglesia when life was easy. Cuando todo era fácil. But as soon as life got hard, Cuando todo se puso difícil, I quit. Yo dejé de venir. I'm so glad Jesus didn't quit on me when times got hard. Yo estoy muy contento que Cristo no quitió por mí. He, he stayed on that cross. Él se quedó en la cruz. Even though he had the power to snap his fingers and have every one of those guards dead. Aunque tenía el poder de tronar sus dedos y matar a todos esos guardias. He said, blessed be the name of the Lord. Él dijo, bendito sea el nombre de Jehová. And he finished the work of Calvary. Y él acabó su... su uh, su trabajo en el Calvario. If there's anyone in here today si hay aquí, that, hoy, is, that has never accepted God's gift of salvation, que nunca ha a en su corazón, may I say this message que este doesn't really apply to you. Que no a ti. Because Satan wants to destroy those who love God. Él quiere destruir, Satanás quiere destruir aquellos que aman a Jehová. Satan wants to make sure you never, ever accept God's gift of salvation. Satanás quiere que nunca, nunca aceptes la salvación. But praise the Lord. Pero gracias al Señor. We know that Jesus Christ finished the work. Sabemos que Cristo acabó su trabajo. As we learned last week, Como aprendimos la semana he pasada, is no longer in the grave. Ya no está en la tumba. He is risen, claiming victory over sin and death. Él ha resucitado y ha cobrado la and he stands there ready to present you with his gift of salvation if you está, just simply take it. Y él está listo para presentarte con la salvación no más es de que tú lo tomes. The Christian life isn't always easy. La vida cristiana nunca, no, no siempre es fácil. But I guarantee you could ask your pastor Te and, puedo other, que le puedes preguntar a tu pastor, and other leaders that have been in the ministry for a long time. Y otros líderes que han estado en el ministerio por mucho tiempo. It's worth every minute of it. Que vale la pena. God doesn't promise an easy life. He promised, God doesn't promise an easy life. Él no nos ha prometido una vida fácil. He promises a joyous one. Una, una vida contentos. And I can have joy Yo puedo tener, uh, el contentamiento going through the hardest times yendo por los, los tiempos más difíciles when I realize cuando me doy cuenta, blessed be the name of the Lord. Que bendito sea el nombre de Jehová. And if you're in here today, you've never accepted God's gift. You're missing out on joy unspeakable and full of glory. 
te estás perdiendo de mucha felicidad. In a few minutes, we're going to have an invitation service. En unos momentos vamos a tener una invitación. And it's an opportunity for you to come and, and ask Pastor Cohen or ask one of these men or one of the women how they can show you from God's word how you would know where you're going to go. Y puedes tener, puedes agarrar la oportunidad de preguntar cómo puedes ser salvo a tu pastor o a uno de aquí. And live the greatest life you ever can. Y vivir la mejor vida que puedas vivir. And I know that one day I can't, I know that I can go through hard times. Yo sé que voy a pasar por tiempos difíciles. Because I have Jesus with me every moment. Porque tengo a Cristo conmigo todo el tiempo. And not with my strength. No but con with, mi fuerza. But with his strength. Con su fuerza de él. I can go through any storm of life. Puedo pasar por cualquier tormenta de la vida. And if you're in here, you've never been born again. Y si estás aquí y nunca has nacido de nuevo. You're missing out on the greatest peace you can ever have. Let's go ahead and pray. Vamos a orar.